Meanwhile, parliamentarian SM Marika of the Samagi Janabala Vega made a revelation today. The people are ready to chase away this government, but we are not in a hurry to do that. We are not ready to obtain the power by changing the head counts in the house or by carrying out any conspiracies. We don't want to deceive our people in that manner. We don't believe in such politics. We only obtain the power through an election. That is a democratic way of doing it. By next August, this government will split into three factions. More than 50 members of the government, who Basar Raj Paksa adored as his allies, will change their side. They will sit in the opposition. But this doesn't mean that they will sit with us. When that happens, we all will sign a proposal that will dissolve this parliament. By doing so, we can move to an election. From the election, we will be able to chase away this family which has become a curse to our nation. <laughs> Meanwhile, parliamentarian Buddhika Patirana also made a revelation about a corrupt deal at a media briefing today. <laughs> When the two state entities are selling a litre of ethanol at 550 rupees, a private company in Ampara is selling a litre of ethanol for 805 to 835 rupees. Annually, the two state-owned sugar entities are producing around 10 million litres of ethanol. When you multiply 255 by 10 million, the sum adds up to 2,550 million rupees. This means our losses is around 2.55 billion rupees. What does the finance minister and the subject minister have to say about this? We continuously reveal these corruptions. It was we who revealed the lapses of the computer software used by Satosa. We also raised our concerns on giving out data in the Justice Ministry software to Malaysia. We raised queries on the sticker used in the alcohol bottle. Despite our queries, the government continued to remain silent on these issues.